Monday Night Raw. Yeah. I'm the game. I bury you. Ooh. Okay. Um. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Um. Sorry, I couldn't get out last night. Very busy. All right. Can I use this room? And I'm s sorry. We haven't had an update yet. I'll try to get that tonight. I'll have to do it. My brother. The brother hasn't been home. Okay. Um. So I was taking notes. Um. So yeah, this is probably gonna be a setup for a little bit until I can move some things around. Maybe hang something up in the background. Okay, um, so yeah, um, so hey guys, um, in fire here, I took some notes. I'm very excited for this week. Uh, Godzilla comes out Friday, I might go see it Thursday. Cause I'm, we have a regal around here, so we should be able to go see it a day early. So anyway, so, I, I, that's my dog if you heard him. And it's still barking. Just ignore her. Um, so I took notes now. Um, I pretty much watched the full show, but I missed a handful too. You know, we'll get to that. Um, so yeah, I took notes. So, let's start off. Shield promo. Um, okay, I gave it a 9 out of 5. 9.5 out of 10. It was, as far as I remember, because it was last night, sorry, that's why I took notes, it was a really good promo. Um, Seth and Dean did a really good job, and <laughs> Rome Reigns, like, was doing the gangster stuff that he sometimes does, he's like, <laughs> I can't even do it. But, um, and then, I have Shield Destroys Evolution. 7 out of 10 stars. I wish they could have got some weapons because it looked like there could have been a handful, but whew, man, um, that felt good. Um, so I don't know, that was like the whole night, too. That's the funny thing. Uh, they that wasn't the only time they did something like that, and yeah, I kind of get it, but I mean. It still wasn't pretty good to see them destroy evolution, but uh, I just thought it's, you know, it's like Street Fight. They could use some weapons. Like, they didn't even bang their head off the car or anything. Like, it was all punches. Everyone was knocked out. Okay, so, after that pretty cool segment, 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 um, we had RVD versus Jack Swagger. Um, I gave this a 2 out of 10, because it wasn't even really a match like it was, but you know. Um, so Adam Rose interfered, not exactly, but the match didn't really start. And, you know, they said the ref rang the bell, and I never heard it, but, like, Adam Rose came out, you know, walked around, rang, distracted Jack Swagger, and I, I don't even think it took, like, as soon as RVD did a move, I don't think it took 10 seconds later to win. Like, he did the kick, and then he did the frog splash, and he won, I think, like, under 10 seconds, or something like that. Um, yeah, I don't, <clears throat> can they just at least give Adam Rose a match or a roll or something? Um, 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 so, after this, as soon as the page promo started, I had to go leave to go somewhere, but I came back, I don't know how much I missed, but, I know I missed some Daniel Bryan promo, I know that, but, um, then, go, oh my gosh, my dog is so stupid, what's she barking at, anyway, so, I came back right at the same time, the Usos, the Usos, or the Y family came out, um, Cena failed to put him over. Why? WWE? Why? Or, I don't even blame WWE, I blame John Cena. Like, I like him. He was my favorite there for a while. But as I started getting older, I started noticing things about him. But, I mean, I love. The match until John Cena got in. Like, 
I gave it 6 out of 10 if I didn't say that already, but, like, freaking Cena, dude, like, and you know, whenever Bray Wyatt's gonna sit the, head to S Sister Abigail, I was like, yeah, I wanna see you, Bray Wyatt, get a win, and then, you know, super, double super kick. Thing that sucked about it, um, was, Bray Wyatt, um, uh, I just was so sad there. That kind of made me mad. The Usos, kind of. But then he did the add to adjustment on Eric Rowan. I was like, that's it. Um. But next was Evolution promo. Then the Shield attack. The whole segment was seven ten. They did pretty good. Triple H saying, "Ooh, I'm gonna bury Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, and then the Beast." Roman Reigns. Ooh. <laughs> um, I gave this a seven out of ten. I think I said that already. But um, then the shield attacked. Um. Then um, Batista said they were gonna have a match later. So, yeah, I guess it was a okay. Um, then we had Nikki Bella versus Natalia. Total divas. <laughs> I mean, I have nothing against the show. I mean, I only watched one episode um, from the new season. Like, can't remember what episode. There, like, Summer Rae smacked Natalia. I watched that full episode. That's the only full episode I watched. I'm gonna try maybe watch it again. But this match because Nikki Bella, some portrait. And by the way, can people? So can someone tell me if that's like a legit show? Because I like. I know it's a show, but, like, reality, because, I know so many reality shows are fake, they're, like, scripted, so, yeah, but the match was 3 out of 10, hey, better than RVG, RVG, RVD, than Jack Swagger, next was Curtis Axel versus Sheamus, this wasn't even a match, um, I gave it 4 out of 10, it was kind of more of a job, kind of thing, um, who won? Um, Curtis. Oh, yeah. Seamus won after. What movie did he went off of? Didn't he went off like the. Um, whatever movie he went off of. And then, um, then, um, sorry. Um, anyway, so. Um, sorry. Um, then Ryback came in the ring and interfered, um, with, um, match. And then Seamus always asked him if they would fight. Or set, call out a challenge, I guess. And the match started during, um, the, um, okay, I'm back. Um, and the match started for a commercial break, which I thought was stupid, but I actually kind of liked the match. And once, because I was hoping, please don't let Seamus win. As soon as Ryback hit the shell shock, I was like, yes. Why is he a jobber now, by the way? Like, I remember when I was watching him, like, a couple years ago. And he was, like, destroying, even though they were jobbers, he was, like, destroying them, doing double shell shocks. He was destroying, he was in main events. He was at Hell in a Cell, Summer, not Summer Slam, Survivor Series, you know. And then he turned into... And he used to be called Goldberg. I mean, tonight, they were chanting Goldberg. And I saw him, like, yelling at someone. But what happened? Six out of ten. McMahon versus... McMahon and Bryant's segment gave him seven out of ten. Like, Stephanie was saying about the next surgery thing. And then, um... Daniel... Br Kane drew Daniel Bryan out. And he was, like, dead pretty much. Like, And then they drew him back and, you know... Steph, Steph, you got pushed. I gotta hurry up and do this. Um, 7 out of 10. Dolph Ziggler versus Fondango. 5 out of 10. Dolph won off a distraction. By Layla by accident. Layla looks a little... Uh, I never... Like, Layla never looked bad. But then once she got with Fondango, like, she's hot. Um, <laughs> but, um... Afterwards, she, he was saying, how I'm still a winner you're, because I have you and you're a winner of my heart or whatever. And, you know, they kissed, they tongue dove, whatever they call it. 
Amy Sandow vs. Cody Rhodes, 7.5 out of 10. Um, it, that was a pretty good match. And then, I forgot they were a tag team until one commentator said. Pretty good match. And then, the, after, uh, they pretty much buried uh, Damien. I, don't, I think he's like the first person ever to lose to the uh, disaster kick. Okay, let's get to the main event. Roman Reigns vs. Batista, 9 out of 10. Okay, Roman Reigns vs. Batista slash ending of the show. 9 out of 10. The match, I can't, I kind of was a little bit distracted, but from what I saw, it was decent. It was okay. I think Batista is starting to get better now that he's had a handful of matches back. Um, Roman, um, but then, you know, Seth and um, it turned into a big brawl. You know, she was about to, I think, triple powerbomb, uh, Triple H, and then Stephanie called out, like, a bunch of other guys, and they threw Dean Ambrose and Seth out, and, you know, tri and they were all beating up Roman, and Triple H got Sharon's getting right at him, spear, and they all started beating up Roman Reigns again. Seth and them got in the ring, just started whacking everyone for chairs, and I loved it whenever... I love the blackout, and I love Seth Rollins. He's one of my favorite wrestlers, and he's my favorite Shield member, and he probably always will be. And when he did the blackout on chair, I was pretty cool. But dude, and it wasn't as good though as like his one at TLC. But dude, Dean Ambrose did the um the head the bulldog driver thing on the chair, and it looked pretty good actually. Like if I remember, like the guy's legs went up the air, but then you know they triple, they spear and triple. They I was faking, they speared Heath Slater, no, they Superman punched him. Then they speared and triple powerbomb Ryback. And that was the end of the show. Um, I'll try to get an update up later tonight, guys. Um, go check out Godzilla, it's coming out this week. I'm joy to hear some people tell me their thoughts and, you know, t like it, you know. I like to hear anyone who watches this video, go see it and... Hopefully you enjoy it. But that's it guys. Um Young Fire here signing out. You can now follow me on Instagram. I'll someday post it up. I'm probably not gonna really post any pictures other than maybe like mm. But yeah guys, sorry about the sun in my face. But yeah guys, see ya and thank you for joining. Update should be later tonight. Sorry this is a little late. See ya.